Okay, the only thing about this room page, you switch out, um, switch out futures market for free boots. That's it. Future market for. Uh... Yeah, and cosmic insight as well. Alright. Yeah, that's the room page. Like you want to run, like if you're running phase rush. Right. This game, it's it's a good phase rush game. It's a good conquer game as well. But the reason phase rush is better is because NASA's slow, right? Yeah. Like Zed, they have like three good conquer champs, right? Thresh, Shivana, and Nasus. Conquer is good against them, but then Nasus is slow. So phase rush and then Caitlyn, so Caitlyn's guess, uh, phase rush is good. This game I passed the bot, yeah. I mean, Nasus, I can't really, you know. Yeah, you this game, it, it looks like uh, we're just gonna the oh, top lane show. Shivana's yeah. not gonna gank early, but I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna ask you some questions here and there, but it's basically just you playing the game. Yeah. And I'm gonna take notes. Is it fine if I uh, mute while I'm playing? Yeah, it's fine. How is this allowed? I don't get it. What?
Let's build you rush Dirk, yeah. Nice. Wait, say that again, my bad. You're good, you're good. I was saying to rush Dirk, but you, you did it. Oh, yeah, 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 you told me. Yeah, so... Dusk rush into, uh... Yeah, you go Dusk rush into Shoujin. And you got boots whenever you can. Oh, okay, alright. Alright, alright.
Nice, nice.
Game's looking a little bit cooked right now. Yeah, but I don't know. Uh, can still win, but like, um, NASA's their problem, though. I'm afraid that, that like, I don't know if my team's retarded or not, bro. Like, it's actually kind of AIDS. I feel like team, they had zero objective control. Yeah, your, like, team, your team's very AFK, but we also made a bunch of mistakes, but it's our team is really not good. Uh, I feel like we just had zero fucking objective control, nothing. Like, we just. Yeah, the good thing um, is, you guys scale really hard. Like, all of you pretty much yeah. outscale almost. They're going armor. Like, they're full AD on me, sorry. Yeah. I don't know. I go. Wait, I go like Randun, no? Randuns are frozen hard after distance, right? It's real good here, no? Uh. It's. Yeah, you could honestly, it's fine. Oh. Randuns pretty high value. No flash, Kate. Nice. Okay. Nice. Yo, this guy's fucking. Did right. I even find him there? You think? That's free call. Uh, and if he was there, maybe, but. How many uh, stacks right. does he have? 400. Yeah, 400, yeah, it's a bit brutal. Did like, I what, go. Uh, anti what I didn't hear. Yeah, or? anti heal is like, not that bad. The thing is, like, your team should be building it. This is where you, like, ask your team build anti heal. But I don't think they will. Getting Mortal Reminder here fourth is not bad either. Mortal Reminder? Mortal Reminder, yeah. It's like pretty good. Alright. Try to get early excuse because your team is definitely not going to build it because these guys are just last. Yeah. So I get Mortal Reminder and then like Grand one? Yeah, something like that. Alright. Let's get Mortal Reminder first. Because I think the only problem is the stances, but. Oh, never mind. Nice.
Oh, that's a DB. Unlucky. But what did I die to? The Kaylin R in your death dance. Oh. Do I go cloak here? I don't go cloak now. Nah, no, it's both long sword. Cloak is useless. But mortal minder here is really good. I mean, maybe if the game goes on for like 10 more minutes, you guys can win. Because the Zero Kaisa scale really hard, but. But this is your actually kind of brain dead. Like, no joke. Yeah, th their comp is really hard to play against for us as well. Yeah. Wait, hold tap. I mean, it's third Drake. You guys might have to go. Like, ideally, in this situation, you guys just like try to get Azir and Kaisa like back into the game, because you're not going to be able to one v five their comp. Yeah. How do you get them back in the game? You just try to let them farm, let them side lane, and try not to get picked. If you guys can get picked, it's really good, but it's hard. It's like this really hard. Maybe. Oh, it's really close. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad for you guys. You guys picked up, what, 700 bounty? Yeah, from the Nasus, but... Do you think they can end? They can't end, no? I mean, they can't end, but minions probably gonna kill the tower. This guy's walking back. Oh, bro, good job. I would come up in, like, 15 seconds. I don't think they can end. Mm -mm. Oh, never mind. I mean, that's Nasus TP like that. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I think they end. Yeah, for sure. It is what it is. Yeah. Because this game, honestly, it's a really bad, like, hacker room game just because, like, you're forced to take phase rush into this. But Conqueror is, like, really good. Like, if you have Sundra here, maybe it's, like, a little bit better, but that's is a problem. The biggest thing, let me send you my notes before I, like, talk too much, but. Yeah. Um. Let me send these. Okay, I sent them to DMs. I'm going to stream for you as well. And pull up the bar. Okay. But basically, like, we play pretty good this game. Honestly, like, I'm pretty impressed. Your hacker mechanics are, like, pretty good. The way you're thinking about fights is is pretty good. The biggest issue we have is our, like, our decision making and the fights we take. But, like, the fights we did play and the fights that, like, we took, um, our hacker mechanics are actually like, pretty good. We, like, okay. like, we held our E properly and our ultis for the most part were good. It just, I was a little bit unlucky. Our team fell super, super behind. Like, if our Azir was, like, playing with his hands, we probably would have won that game. But Nasus also became a problem, and we kind of just like neglected Nasus all game for no reason. Um, 
yeah there was like a couple of situations like early game where we could have just been we could have like looked top like we didn't really move our camera much early game it was like it, it doesn't change that much but the biggest thing is like looking at like ZHP and bot lane HP right yeah. I'll, I'll go into VOD and like I'll show you where you should just like, be looking at camera a lot more like overall like our hackerum mechanics are good and this game was just like really bad for us because the enemy comp is like really bad for hackerum they had like really cringe champions for hackerum and our team was just like really lost like none of our teammates were like really good and you can't really rely on them like something in solo queue that you'll like notice and like learn is like how to recognize like good teammates right and our teammates all game didn't play good so it's like hard to like try to play off a teammate if that makes sense like usually you want to try to like find a teammate that's like good that you can play off of but our teammates were, they sucked so it's hard to like play off that and we had like 1v5 before skip fights but um yeah at one point we were like really behind like up until the 12 minute mark we were playing really good and then we like entered on rift for no reason um yeah that could have been like completely avoided and we probably could have like made a good play if we just um if we just uh, like went earlier, we were in like uh, I'll upload it. Hold on. You give me one second. Can I just use the Russian real quick? So yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Alright, I'm back, my bad. Okay. Uh hold on, I have bot open. Let me just pull screen for you. Okay. Uh so just like in the beginning, this is like pretty scuffed. Nothing you, nothing really you could do about this. Okay, kinda unlucky. Anyways. Yeah. We've gone to red buff. Our, hold on, let me do this. Hold on one second. Okay. So our kiting on red buff is like pretty bad. Like overall our kiting on the camps is fine. So on red buff we're like kinda AFK in the corner. Like typically you just wanna like try to get it like wards. There there is ward here, but it doesn't matter. Like you wanna like at least I like, get up to here, because the ward's not gonna like see you, right? Okay. So cut it cut it up like, just like cut it up basically. Okay. It's kinda annoying because the ward's there, but like it doesn't matter too much. It's better to like get it really fast clear. Our like, clear this game was like like you, you saw how you were like auto attacking nothing for a good like three seconds? Yeah. You kinda wanna like avoid that. Okay. Like right here, we just like stop auto attacking at 148, and we go back in queue. But it's like it's not like a big issue, but like typically you want to like kite the camp as fast as you can. There is a void there, so maybe you're avo avoiding that. But you want to just like kite it all the way, right? It's like get good at kiting. But overall, like I'm not gonna harp on that too much because our kiting was like decent. Anyways, uh, skipping ahead, we s we know Camille entered topside jungle here, right? We knew like 10 seconds from before this, we knew. Her top side camps are up. What does that mean? That means Shivana started bot side 100% because her top side camps are up. She didn't start yeah. blue up, right? So we know for sure she's not in our jungle, which means she's on top side. Which means we re really should focus on trying to get this bot dive, right? And if we can't get the bot dive, it doesn't matter. But like we weren't trying to play for it, right? You weren't like pinging, okay, let's dive this. Like this is a pretty free dive with Renata, even though they have heal and ignite up. Like you just like tank with Renata and it's like pretty OP. Um, so you just try to play for this bot dive. We did camera down, like we, our camera movement overall in the beginning was like pretty trash, like we, it needs work. And what I mean by this is just like looking at our lanes more and like, you know, getting information on the map because jungle yeah. is all about getting information, right? And here we did move camera by like three or four times. So we know that Caitlyn's half HP, below half and she has no pot. So she's gonna just gonna get, keep getting poked down. Off Renata, so this dive is like really, really uh, possible. We didn't really like play for this at all. Like here, this is the only dive window we have. 
and our clear okay let me, let me put it to you like this way we should have been done our clear like right now or like five seconds ago right 315 so that means this blue buff would have been killed that means we would already be walking down tri bush and then we're actually able to dive this but like because we messed up our clear and we have like a 330 clear right we're 10 15 seconds yeah. behind clear then we, we're not able to dive this if that makes sense yeah yeah so that that's that's why I'm, that's why I like that's why kiting is important and like getting a really fast clear is like super super important right um yep. yeah, that's like the biggest thing with tempo anyway so here we're on crab usually after you do a full clear you have two options either you can uh, instantly reset and play for the opposite side crab from where you reset so if you start top side full clear down reset and then go top crab that's like a play that can happen if you clear fast but here because we're already at the crab while it's fine it's fine to stay on map right and here we stay on map it's fine we play for top crab as well this is fine as well and then we know uh, Camille just gave like Shivana a lot of aids, and that her blue buff is still up. We have vision, right? You know, Shivana's on crab. So going for this blue buff is not a bad play. But the thing is, we don't like we're not we don't have the information, right? We didn't look mid a single time. We don't know what Z HP is. I mean, we just crossed through it, but like um, here, you just want to be really like look at look at mid, look at top, right? And we're like, okay, yeah. where is Shivana right now? Shivana could maybe be on her rafters, but why would she sack her top side? We don't know where Shivana is. But doing overall this invade is like fine. And one thing to keep in mind is that we know Shivana has item advantage because she just based and she got first blood, right? So yeah. she got first blood, she just based. We know she has item advantage, so doing this move is fine just because we have Camille already moving. Perfectly fine. We just get out, instantly reset, go for our Krugs, and then we just won early game, double her CS, and now her item advantage. But let's look at the gold, we're per per perfectly even now, right? She has first blood and we're even because we're just out jungling her right now. Then we make yep. go for this Gromp, which is like really bad. And the reason this is bad is because again, she has I, mean, I like wrote it all. But um uh taking blue here is really good. Now we're overstaying all our maps and with all our camps up and we're overstaying on the map, right? And if we just like, reset here, it's like perfectly perfectly played early game for the most part. But then we overstay here well, and then Shivana just comes. We, well, because yeah. I took the Gromp, like my tempo is fucked a little bit. Sorry? Uh, you mean like before because I took the Gromp, like my tempo was fucked a little bit? Yeah, because now you take the Gromp, like look at our camps, right? Our, our Raptors yeah, are up in 10 yeah. seconds. If we just yeah. go into this bush, take a reset, we'll be up, do a full, full clear. Then we can instantly play for Dragon because we're just so ahead of Shivana. We're up a full up a full level after that, right? Yeah. But now we take the Gromp and we don't even get the Gromp and we just like waste so much time. Well, wow, this is good for Shivana because like her, her camps like I just came up and she's not wasting much tempo, right? She's in her jungle. But yeah. here we're wasting so much time because our full clear is coming up right now and we're wasting literally 30 seconds when we know Shivana has to be somewhere on the map, right? We don't know exactly where she is, but we know we just saw her here. Just going for this Gromp is very, very greedy. It's never really worth it, especially when like, look at top, look at top wave. Like, Nasus can just instantly go on you, right? And we're, we don't know about mid either. We're not camera on mid. Like, if you just left, you went mid. Or if you just like did anything here, it's like better play than greeting for the Gromp, basically. Um, yeah. But getting the blue buff was really good though. That was nice. But green for Gromp was like it made the play like not good, right? I think we do. Do we end up living here? I think we do, right? Yeah, we do. We like waste so much time. We really waste forty seconds. Now look, our entire full clear is like it already spawned. So now we're a good like thirty seconds behind Temple for no reason. Um. Yeah, and just something to think about. I wrote in the notes is like we know Shivana wants to play for Dragon. Like keep in mind that Shivana is probably gonna like want to rush Dragon, right? Because her yeah. champ, right? That's just something to keep in mind. It's like not anything, but yeah. then we make a bot play here. We instantly run. And I remember we played this well, but we just like canceled the water. So overall, this is played very well. We held the E here. Wait for Cave and Flash. This is good. Now one thing you could do, one thing I would do is you see where you're standing right now. You kind of like yeah. you kind of positioned where Caitlyn was, right? Caitlyn was here. What you want to do is kind of like. They position a little bit more like down, kind of predict this. So what I mean with this is like, uh, just like try to pass down sooner. If that makes sense, because you know Caitlyn's gonna flash down if she has flash, and if you're like already close to her, then you can like E and her faster. But it's like it's honestly fine. We go on E on Thresher, which is fine too. And here we Q auto, and here we cancel the auto. We ba we basically just well, the only misplay here is we cancel an auto, which didn't let us get this Shivana kill. Um, overall, we played it pretty well. It's like two really little things. So like with Caitlyn, just like position a little bit more down, so you're able to push her up if you can. If she flashes, you're already on her. And you know the thresh there was fine because you want to kill him as fast as you can. He's one HP. 
um especially do we have items here we do we have dirt right so and i just not canceling the auto on shivana is, is like really big but overall we played that well just like those two little mistakes um okay and then here we're top side right and we have camille r if we just like go top lane right now we kill nasus i think we end up uh i, she, I think Camille kills Nasus anyways, but just something to keep in mind, right? This game, in the beginning, you said, oh, we're just not ganking top, which, like, is, is the right idea. But, like, if it's a free gank, you're not gonna, like, say no to it, right? Yeah. Like, here for pathing, we'd be here. We would be here. Camille R's. We could probably, we could probably be there for the assist, maybe. But it's just, like, the right idea is to look top lane here, just because, like, the wave state, right? And because Camille wants to fight. And here we kill Shivana. We played this well. We played this good as well. Here, the only thing is, the only thing wrong we played here is uh, just ghost earlier. Because you know you're going to come into this fight, you know she has no flash. So if you ghost earlier, you're just able to get that much damage off quicker, right? And here holding R as well is really good. Because now we have R for dragon fight, and I think we do we instantly reset here. We stay for Krugs. So, uh, oh wait, hold on. Do we reset for Krugs? We do, right? Oh no, we stay for folk here. Okay. <laughs> This is the best play here. Is I don't even think I wrote this down. Okay, I, I wrote something down. What I said here was we can force Rips here or pop because we stop Camille R. Nas is basically dead if you want to play this sack dragon. Yeah, so the reason um, staying top here is fine. Let's look at this wave state, right? We know Camille still has R and we have R. So we can just we, we can just gank Nasus here and basically get a free kill for sure. And then we play for Rift. So staying in map is not like like the worst thing ever. But uh, another thing we could do, right after we get the kill on Shivana here, we just instantly reset and then play for um, Dragon. But like, because Camille's got a solo kill, you can kind of like, play off her. Like, she's up in 500 gold, right? So just playing off Nasus is fine. And both have R. Like, we should just stay, kill Nasus, then get Rift. So going on Krugs here is fine. But um, we don't play for Rift, so just a mistake. Because if we like did what I said just now, we make the top play, then we wouldn't have gotten invaded bot side, and we wouldn't have to like make that really bad fight. I don't know if you remember it with Zed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we just play for Rift, play top side, none of that would have happened, right? Yeah. Okay, and then we get invaded here. Uh, something we could do is something like you should make a good habit into doing is whenever you're full clearing and say your wolves blue and gromp are up right you went to wolves and you're gonna do your full clear you're gonna go blue what you want to do is just skip blue and go gromp right and then come back to blue and the reason this is like important especially on hecarim it, it's good for most junglers because like for example there's nothing happening in the game and you just want to full clear if you do your full clear in order like this right krugs raptors uh wolves gromp and skip the buffs like, the camps are going to be synced really perfectly, right? If you go Wolves, Blue, and then Gromp, there's going to be a big gap between Wolves and Gromp when the buff isn't up, right? Like, 20 second gap. So if you skip Blue buff, your focus is going to be more linear and, and, like, easier to do, and faster and more efficient. And if you also skip Gromp, then you, like, avoid invades like this, right? If you, sorry, if you skip Blue, you avoid the invade. Because then they're going to invade you, they're not going to see you until after, right? And you'll be a little bit safer here next to Tower and Bot Lane. And one more important thing on Hecarim especially and why it's good is because like you're not building tier on Hecarim, right? Which means your blue buff is a lot more valuable. If you're delaying when you get your blue buff, that means you have your blue buff longer for when you're fighting, if that makes sense, right? Yeah, because yeah. if you do blue buff first, um, you're going to have it for shorter because you still have to do gromp and then go fight, right? So there's 20 second difference, right? Um, it, doesn't matter, like, it doesn't matter every game, but it's just something that like, it's a good habit, right? So just skipping blue buff can be pretty good. And here would have mattered a little bit, but we should have been topside playing for Rift anyways, right? And here is this fight. He's just never winning. We know Azir is dead on notes. I don't even say he was dead, but like Azir is dead here. Is that his first move? This is just you just leave, right? Maybe you try to sneak your Gromp. Maybe if you want to be greedy, but you reset, try to play for this Rift, right? At like 9 10, we should have reset and see how long we stay. Yeah, so we stay an extra 10 seconds, then we lose Dragon, and we give Bounty to Caitlyn, and now this game is a lot harder, right? Yeah. So that's like the first big mistake, actually. Um, we did smite the blue buff well, but it doesn't matter. We should just... Yeah, we ran around for 30 seconds doing nothing. We know Zeta's first move, because he was missing on map before. Zero moved, because Zero was dead, right? 
Um, and then here we instantly go bot lane after uh, the death timer. And usually this is the wrong play, but because enemy bot lane is like so pushed up, um, we play this and we actually just like pick up two kills for free, which is good. We usually want to play for this rift, but we just end up picking picking these up pretty good. We had a nice R. Um, and then here we stay on map looks like. Oh yeah, so you were like debating whether you wanted to stay on map or not. I'm like right here. And here you decide to go to full clear. Now, typically, in a situation like this, right, you have what, 1100 gold. You can reset by lucidity boots and a long sword, and then be at your camp. Like here, you're already resetting. It's better to reset and just play for like another full clear bot, whatever. And the reason is because getting lucidity boots is like a pretty big power spike for you early game. Um, this game we actually went tabbies. And it's honestly fine because, again, as you said, they're 4 AD, 5 AD. So going to is like decent. So staying map here is fine. I think I said either or. Yeah, so um, yeah, you can either reset or just greed, stay on map, and clear upwards and try to play for Rift, right? So either or is fine. We end up staying, so it's fine. And here at the Rift, okay, let's look at this. Here we see Shivana. She chunks us really hard. We go for Krugs. We know she's on Rift. And we're very hesitant to contest this Rift. And here we just give Rift. Just because, like, our mid laner is, like, just getting gapped so hard, right? And there's, yeah. like, nothing we do. If And here, like, okay, you're thinking, should I contest this? Should I not? We have top better move. So then we took this reset, wasted, you know, five seconds. If we instantly try to contest this Rift after Shivana used R. Maybe we can fight this. Like, you'd probably be able to get the steal off. You, you'd actually be able to steal this because you have smite up, right? So if you're just yeah. there five seconds earlier, then um, you would have been uh, able to get the smite. Now, the biggest thing, like, this game, like, you'll notice, this play and the other play earlier with the bot dive is it's just, like, a five-second difference between, like, a successful play and a losing play, right? Yeah. That's, the, that's the thing about League. When you look at high-low challenger gameplay, like, when, if you if you watch, like, my Hecarim gameplay, right? And you compare it to like some random masters gameplay, like the biggest difference, like it might be like a little bit of mechanics here and there, but like the biggest difference is just like like the efficiency and like like the timing. If that makes sense, like I would be at this play like five seconds earlier, right? Because I would have made the decision one second earlier, whatever, right? So just every second adds up, and that's how that's how league is high though. Every second adds up in like every play. So that's why like. That's why when you watch like Karzain or me coach, like we're always talking about how important the clear is because again, those 10 seconds you wasted early game cost you an early game dive, right? Yeah, and this wasn't like guaranteed dive, but the play was like already set up for us. We just had to be there, right? Anyways, so yes, yeah, the same with this. We're five seconds earlier, literally three seconds earlier, we would have been able to steal it with Smite because she doesn't have Smite up, right? She was done on us. So we would have gotten Rift for free if we just like decided three seconds earlier. Anyway, so here we make a play where we just like aim for the 1v1. And you don't really like beat Shivana here, because remember, we didn't reset at this point. We greeted to stay on map. If we took the reset and then instantly went topside, like I mentioned, this fight would have been different. We probably would have beat her, right? Yeah. That's kind of like how League is, but anyways. Um, yeah, we also could have made it out instead of fully committing on Shivana with R. We thought we would kill her, we just didn't have enough damage to. And yeah. I think top top lane's fighting this entire time. Yeah, so top lane's fighting fighting here, and we know like Camille is like trying to one v one and stuff. We're just not really looking at top lane at all. We're neglecting Nasus completely. Like if we're kiting up, we're kiting up here, kiting up. We would already be at tri bush. Can we be in time for this fight? And maybe we, maybe we don't even kill Nasus. Like kind of fed. But like if we're just there earlier, maybe we can fight. Just looking at top lane, right? We're not playing for top lane here at all. I think we actually end up getting out. Actually, no, we die and we kill Zed. This play is whatever. Um, and then I want several. So you want Tabby's here, and I wouldn't really go with Tabby's here. Now the reason is, is because early game, like Lucidity Boots, is such a big spike for Hecarim, right? Yeah. So you kind of like getting rid of your. Let me put you like this. If you're going Conquer, right? Then with Sunder, then Tabby's are better because you're playing for skirmishes, you're playing for duels with Sunder. Or stride breaker or whatever but we're going dust blade like the reason we're going this uh rune setup is to go dust blade into shojin into click whatever right we're going like mainly damage going tabbies just kind of like gets rid of our damage it is decent because they're 580 but if you want to switch to tabbies later like it's it's good 
but like I probably would have gotten Lucetti boots early just because like we're already so behind this game, like our team. So we need to carry, right? If you go Tabby, it just makes it a little bit harder to carry. Yep. Especially in like a diamond game, diamond masters game where um like your team is just behind you, it's hard to carry with Tabby if that makes sense. Oh lucky. Then we play for the dragon and our team is like AFK. We have to sack this dragon, but we're kind of like, we want to fight this dragon, but our team is just, you know, they're just pushed on a tower, so you, it's really hard to like, um, get this dragon, like alone, right? And here we get caught. The yeah, one thing I want to point out, we die here, whatever. See how we're right next to Thresh? Like, the biggest thing on Hecarim is getting Q stacks, right? And yeah. you know what, you know what Hecarim Q stacks do, right? Yeah. Yeah, so just try to get Q stacks here, like here. Q stack one. If you have Lucidity boost, Q stack two right there. We get hooked, whatever. We have R. And then all of a sudden, you would have three Q stacks going into this fight. And maybe, because like with Dustblade, maybe you can like dish out some more damage and maybe get a reset off. Here it is. You're going to be dead no matter what, because we got hit by the hook. But like the way you play Dustblade is just try to get three Q stacks and R into the back line, right? I, think I wrote these in the notes. But, um. Yeah, so just prioritize getting free Q stacks and use your movement to, you know, dodge threshold and then just try to R into the back line on Caitlyn because you basically like one, 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 like one shot her with three Q stacks, right? And also, we know that Renata isn't with us at Drake. There's no point to like, uh, there's no point to ever be here. Just because like you're in a situation where mid lane's pushed in, bottom lane's pushed in, your ADC is farming, Azir is farming, and then Renata is in base, right? So. There's no way we can contest this. Yeah. It's like, let me let me play it to you like this. Our support should have been there. Was she dead? Let me see. Oh, she was AFK. Yeah, she was AFK. Okay, she was AFK. So, okay, let me put it to you like this. Let me let me like summarize the legends in a nutshell. So it's our support's fault for not being there. She's AFK, literally. It's like all her fault. But it's our fault for, like. As a jungler, and when you're playing Hector, means like take accountability for everything. It's like kind of dumb, but like it's, it's our fault for being here. It's like obviously it's support's fault, but it's also our fault for being here because League Legends is all about like adapting, right? And like, um, yeah, next season we're all gonna have to adapt with the builds. But basically, like this game, we're not as AFK, so we need to know. Okay, we're not as AFK. I'm just gonna reset and play for her top side jungle, play for my top side jungle instead, right? And just give the dragon because we're not as AFK, or like whatever. We're not as not there. It's her fault. If she's there, it changes a lot of things, and then we have vision, whatever. But she's not. So it's our fault for like even trying to be here. It's like completely our fault. And we just like make a different play. Play top side, play her uh, enemy top side, and try to play something else. But that's kind of like how League is. Like even this game, like I don't think I've ever like had a Hecarim game where I built this way. But this game is good. Why? Because you know you adapted, you recognized. Okay, they're all AD literally. So stacking armor is really good, and they gave you a better chance of winning, right? So. It's kind of how league goes, but yeah, un unlucky we're not a safe gator. Um, and then here, okay, was some quick stuff here. We're killing Zenner and Tower here, and we wasted our. So here, we ghosted. It's fine. Getting ghost for kill is worth it. Now Zed uses W. Okay, Zed might have flash here. He maybe has flash, but what, what the right play here is we already used ghost, right? We still have ten seconds left of ghost almost. So if we just run at him, he's dead. And here we use R. And then we don't have R for the top side fight, for the rift fight, and we just don't have R. It's really bad, right? So using Ghost there is fine, perfectly fine. Just be using R and being impatient when Zed just uses he just uses W literally. And if he flashes, then we have R for it, right? So um what you want to do is save R there. It's like the first like bad R we had. Where there's no there's no point to do it. Also with the death here, there's no point to do that one either. Yeah, but just literally no point, and then all of a sudden, we're just so much weaker without R. And I brought a note here, a really important one is um, using Ghost here is fine, whatever. Trading Ghost for kills is usually good, but you want R for objective fights. So if you're in a situation, right, and you 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 have uh, either Ghost or um, R to use, you typically want to use Ghost if it's just like one kill and this objective up, right? Because if you're fighting Rift, you'd rather have R, just because your R for a team fight is better than having Ghost, right? Usually. Um, again, not every situation is the same, but for the most part, if you have ult C, you can set up your teammates easier, you can set up Azir, CC easier. Um, it's just better to have R than Ghost. So just using Ghost there for, uh, to trade kill is fine. Same with early game, um, when you just hit level 6 or whatever, just use Ghost. 
Alright, and here we make a really good play on Dragon. This is good. There's one thing, when you're in Dustblade Invisibility, you can actually use your abilities, but you just can't auto. So, um, you'll, like, you'll notice here, you get the Dustblade off. And here you can still be queuing Zed, and you're still going to be invisible. You can press Q, you can press Q, but the only thing you can't do is you can't auto, right? So as soon as you like get your auto attack animation off, it's going to instantly cancel the invis. So it's important when you're playing Dustblade to... You can, you can queue Zed here, and maybe you'll kill him way faster. Um, but you just can't auto, right? Yeah. That's something they changed, like, after a second Dustblade nerf, they changed that. Um, so a lot of people still don't, like, know about it. But yeah, you can queue while you're invis. It's honestly very, very important. Because then you would have gotten, like, two queues off on Zed, and that would have been, like, what, 400 damage, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, and the rest of us were kind of, like, our team was very, very lost. There's like not much we can do alone. Okay. Anyway, so here we know Shivana stopped playing race, right? This is our best opportunity for a fight right now. Here you just want to force everything on Caitlyn here. This is our best opportunity. We know Shivana's top. Just look at the map, right? Yeah. Tysa is almost there. She has R. She she can join the fight from over here, right? She doesn't have to be next to you. Azir can join the fight very quickly as well, EQ over the wall, all of a sudden he's a Gromp. So we just try to force this just because we know Shivana's top. Now if Nasus is there, it's fine. Like if you can get this into a 5v4 fight, which it is, just go in, right? The way to win these games, I wrote it here, it's our best chance of getting any resources, right? And get the dragon after as well. But the way to win these games is to get into fights where you're outnumbering the enemy. And what this means is like, you need a 5v4 to win the fight, right? Let's look at the gold yeah. difference. We're down 12k gold. But all of a sudden, Shivana has 10k gold, right? So then, you guys are actually even in gold, or like, you know, maybe even ahead, because it's a 5v4. But the thing is, like, here you just really want to force. It's kind of, like, hard, but because we have so much armor, like, we have, what, 170 armor. So we're actually really, really tanky with the with DD. Um, so yeah. just engaging here on Caitlyn, as, you know, as fast as you can, at least getting her flash. Just getting her software. And then maybe our Zero is able to do some damage. Like here, I think they, they chase a little bit. Like right here, we just want to we want to force it. This is a really really winning fight. Like we just win this fight no matter what. And it's like the one, like it's like the one situation where we can fight right now when we're this behind. Like look at the goal difference. It's crazy, right? It's twelve k. But you can actually win this fight so easily because all you have to do is engage on Caitlyn here. Nas is not in the fight. Shivana is not in the fight. Super good for us. Yeah. So that, that's something with Hecarim, you know, just like recognizing your fight angles. Uh, that's the biggest issue we had this game. There was like, this is our second or third, like, honestly, yes, our third, like, uh, fight that we're taking and we're not, that we're not taking or taking that are bad, right? So just our decision making over like which fights we can take and knowing our limits. But the biggest thing here, this applies to any jungler. It doesn't matter if it's Hecarim or not. Just knowing that Shivana stops at splitting. When it's, when we're outnumbering 5e3 in this situation, it's going to be 5e4. Um, you just win this for the most part, right? Yeah. So that's like the biggest thing here. I think apart from that, I don't have anything else I wrote down, so I don't really, really want to like, I don't have anything else to talk about too much. Um. Yeah, I think that's I think that's all I really have to talk about. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask them right now. Uh, no, I think that's it. So I let's say I'm trying to improve, right? What do I work on? Like, uh, you think like is there like a main point? You know, just focus on. Yeah, instead like, of let, let, let me let me leave you with some concluding like closing thoughts here. So the big the biggest thing with us is um, our mechanics are good, and um, our like when we're playing the fights like we play fights well for the most part like we play fights well our targeting is good for the most part like our fighting is above a diamond level right along with our mechanics and acrim um, the biggest thing though is um, the fights the fights we take is the fights we take and the way we work on that is. Is by trying to like okay it's kind of like hard to explain but basically just like our decision making is the biggest it's our biggest issue right we play the fights well we're just taking bad fights and our decision making is like we're not completely sure of what we want to do and we're kind of hesitant sometimes and the only way you really improve this is um, by trying to improve it it obviously comes with experience 
but um for example you're playing a game right and uh you make some like questionable plays like you're just playing some random solo you make some questionable plays on objective on whatever a macro play and then like you really don't know if it's like the right play or not you know just go into the vod after and be like okay what could i have done differently if i did if i like instead i reset that went top side would that have changed anything and for the most part you can figure this stuff out by yourself just like you're already diamond so you have a good decent understanding of the game right but if it's a macro decision like it's not going to be that complicated and just you know ask yourself if i did this differently if i went to the dragon instead of rift would that change anything um then you'll probably be able to figure out yourself and like you'll you'll notice like the winning what winning plays are winning and what losing plays are losing right um yeah. it also obviously comes with experience like yeah that's that's the biggest thing um yeah, i don't really think i have anything else to talk about yeah if you have any questions you know uh i'll, I'll let you ask them ask them in my dms too but uh i think that about wraps up the session unless you have any other questions uh yeah can you send me the notepad again because i got it up to 15 20 i don't got the the closing thoughts oh, oh really yeah oh yeah oh yeah you're right um yeah i'm, I'm gonna send you these i appreciate you thank you bro yeah bro um yeah that wraps it up there's a there's a student review section in discord if you leave a review i'd really appreciate it you don't have to go but and, uh, i'll do it i'll do it i appreciate appreciate it bro right. but um i think it wraps it up i'll send you your notes right now let me just do that before you leave all right, all right. um let's make sure they're good so are you doing a hecarim uh, spreadsheet by the way yeah i'm gonna make i'm gonna make like um, a hecarim guide just like like the oh, auto matchups and stuff like um wait can you uh can you post it in the score when you're done? Yeah, I'm 100%. I'll post it like everywhere. But like, I'm, right. I'm, I just like the channel guide I'm copying. Not copying, but like I'm using the format where it's like auto matchup and stuff. I'm gonna do it for Hacker. Oh, cool yeah, bro. All I'm right. I'm gonna let you go though. Alright, bro. Appreciate you. Alright, bro. Have a right. good one. W coaching. W coaching.